disclaimer that the video content have been made available for information and education purpose only and information is not to be used for any illegal or malicious purpose hi everyone in this video we are going to discuss about netcat for windows actually we have discussed in detail about netcat in some other video where we have used linux based operating system but today we are discussing this netcat in windows so we will be discussing that how to install it and how we can use this in windows based machine and specifically we will be discussing about windows 10 so netcat is a cli based that's command line interface based swiss army knife tool this is used to read or write data over tcp or udp connection it means there will be there will be maybe two computers and then those computers can communicate with each other over tcp or udp port and this can be used for different functions but we are only going to use uh, only two uses of netcat tool which we'll be discussing in this video. So these are some of the users, port scanning, banner wrapping, port listening, transferring files, launching reverse shells. So in this video, actually we will be for Windows 10 machine, first we will install this in Windows 10 and then we'll be looking at port listening and the launching reverse shell. Use of NetKit, which we are going to show in this video is launching reverse or backdoor shell. Uh, so in this case, victim will be Windows 10 machine and Kali will be our attacking machine. So backdoor will be created at this machine that is Windows 10 and on this Windows 10 we will run this command that's netcat and then we will use minus L for listening and P for port and this is the port which we will be using and then we issue this command and here this E means execute, execute this cmd.exe so this will be our victim machine and this attacker machine we will use this command nc and we will give the IP address of our victim machine and then the port number on which our victim machine will be ready to create or establish a backdoor. So in this case, to execute this CMD, our command line uh, interface for Windows 10, we will be using this. And this allows hacker to execute command on the target machine. And now to show you how to install NetKit in this Windows 10 machine and uh, to show you its uses, uh, I am in my virtualization software. So this is my VMware, I have Kali Linux machine and I have Windows 10 machine ready. Now I'm going to maybe shift to full screen mode so that we can see it easily. And now you can see we have Kali and this is Windows 10. And uh, to use NetCat tool, this, this is actually by default installed in Kali Linux machine, but for Windows 10, we need to, we, sorry, in Windows 10, we need to install this. And for this, for installation, I'm going to launch this uh, explorer here. And in this explorer, just we are going to write nmap.org, press enter. And uh, now this has been launched here, and map page. And then here we have to go to download page. And in download page, we have to click on windows. And windows, we just have to download this stable release of nmap. So I'm going to download this. And once this is downloaded, we we will be installing it in our machine. So this is downloading, you can see here. Once this is completed, we'll go there. So in the downloads folder, we have this. And now maybe we can show in folder, you can see we have this in downloads folder. And once this has downloaded, we just install this. And for installation, I have double click there. And now installation has started and say yes. And I agree. Next, by default setting, I'm going to keep. Or I'm happy with the by default setting. So now this tool is being installed. So nmap is being installed on our Windows 10 machine, which we'll be using today. I agree. Install it, and it's still it's working on installation. Once this is complete, then we'll be able to see that how we can use NetCat on Windows machine as well. So one click next finish and okay done next finish is done and close this window maybe close this window as well and now you can see this has been installed on a windows 10 machine and once this is installed let us uh, let us use this for some some activity for example first of 
all we are going to create uh, let's say we are going to create a reverse shell here and for this reverse shell first we are going to uh, Kali Rinesh machine and I'm going to launch terminal here and the terminal I'm going to write the IP address of our of our Windows 10 machine that has been NC and then NC stands for NetCAD and here IP address of our uh, Windows 10 machine that is 192.168.204.129 and uh, then we will be giving the port number the port number um, of Windows 10 where we want to connect uh, to which we want to connect our Kali Linux machine to Windows 10. So let's say we are going to say 5454 not say 5454 will be the port number which will be which will be ready to establish the connection between Kali and Windows 10. So for that first we also so we have I have not uh, pressed enter. So now I'm going to Windows 10 machine and on Windows 10 machine let's launch command prompt here so cmd press enter and here we can say and get and then we can say minus l so we have to say listen on some specific port that's minus l minus p then we have to connect this machine using this port 5454 so this can be any port we are going to use 5454 and then we are uh, saying that uh, execute and cmd.exe so now this machine will allow to execute command line interface on this machine so i'm going to press enter and now once you can see here it's waiting for the connection so now from attacking machine i'm going to issue this command that says that netcat and see uh, for this ip address on this port number so now i press enter and when i press enter it should get connected to windows machine and you can see here the windows machine has given its control so you can see windows machine has given its control to kali linux machine which is actually the attacking machine you can see this user and this is the this is actually the username and we can select directory you can see all the directories here on windows 10 machine and if you want to see maybe ip config here you can run ip config command and you can see here we should have this uh, yes you can see this ip address of windows machine it means at this time we are actually on windows uh, 10 machine so this is how we can actually create a backdoor on victims machine and in this video we have used windows 10 as, as our victims machine and from Kali Linux machine we have got the control of Windows 10 machine and now at the moment we are using the command line interface of Windows 10. The use of NetCat as port listener which can be used as a chat. So in this case we will have Kali Linux machine, we will have Windows 10 machine and then on Kali Linux machine we will just use this command and in this command we, are, we can use also this command. And in this command, L stands for listen, V stands for verbose mode, and P stands for pour. So it means on this machine, we are asking this Kali Linux machine to listen on this port and display the result. If you use V, display the results in verbose mode. And a Windows 10 machine, again, we will be using a netcat command, but before that, we need to install and map here, and then we will be able to use this on Windows 10 machine. So after this, Whatever text we write here, that same text will be reflected on this screen. Like if I say hi here on this machine, and this hi will also be reflected on this machine. So that will be the port listening or chat utility of this, or uh, the use of NetCat. And for port listening, uh, I'm going to launch terminal here in our Kali Linux machine. And, and in this terminal, we are going to use NetCat command, it's NC, and then we say minus L, for listening and then minus p is the port number and then we can use maybe port number 222 this is the port number on which Kali Linux machine will be listening and then we just press enter now you can see this is ready and now we go to windows 10 machine and we again launch command prompt here and the command prompt we run this command that's netcat and ncat and then we say minus uh, uh, netcat and then we want to connect this windows 10 machine with kali linux machine so we need ip address of kali so let's go to kali machine here 
and maybe launch another terminal to find out the IP address of this. So that is 192.168.204.128. So I'm going to close this terminal, go back here, Windows 10, and now here we, we are going to specify the IP address of Kali Linux machine. 192.168.204.128 and then we also need to specify the port number so that will be 222 and 2. So now this machine will be connected with Kali Linux machine uh, on port number this and now we press enter and now you can see both of the machines are ready to communicate with each other because the connection has been established in between them so they are listening so Kali Linux's machine is listening on this port and now for example if I write something here on Windows 10 machine say uh, I, I have been successful uh, in installing netcat uh, on Windows let's say this is the message maybe I want to send to Kali Linux machine so after this message, I press enter and let's go to Kali Linux machine. You can see, yes, this message has been received at Kali Linux as well. So now maybe if we want some message to be sent to Windows 10 back, then we can say, yes, good. Uh, maybe, yes, uh, good. Uh, and this is uh, good news, let's say, any message here. And then press enter. And now from Kali Linux machine, you should this information or this message should have been received at Windows 10. Let's go click on Windows 10 and you can see, yes, we have received this message. So this is how these two machines can be configured uh, to listen to each other, like, like chatting. So this can be used as a chat. And uh, yeah, so these were the two uses which I wanted to show in Windows 10 machine and other functions, other uses of NetCat tool I have shown in other video where I have used Metasploitable uh, as, as, a, as a target machine. So thank you, thank you very much for your time. Hope to see you in some other video.